The controller of budget, Margaret Nakango, has lifted the lead on some controversial budgetary decisions undertaken by the government which have contributed to the high cost of living. Nakango claims that budgeted corruption is rampant in government. Appearing before the National Dialogue Committee, she revealed that her salary was inflated three times. NTV's Sydney Tazima tells us more. Critical issues at all. As the National Dialogue Committee nears the tail end of its sittings, several economic experts made their submissions on how the skyrocketing cost of living can be lowered. The controller of budget, Margaret Nyakango, in her submissions revealed some government measures she believes have led to the high cost of living, lifting the lead on deep rooted economic blunders by the government. Poverty. One of the thorny issues raised lingered around budgeted corruption. Nyakango says that compensation from the Consolidated Fund Services for all state officers was exaggerated three times, raising questions whether the austerity measures the government says it has put in place will work. I found out that my salary was budgeted at three times what I'm paid. So I asked them, why is the budget showing three times what my annual salary is. And it was like that for all the state officers. Yeah, what was the answer, madam? <laughs> <laughs> Chairman, I have not received the answer to date. According to the control of budget, there is a need to reduce deficit financing, which has necessitated overborrowing by the Treasury. We know that we are in a cash crunch, but this cash crunch because, like I, I told you before, we have been borrowing and partying with borrowed money. That is why we are where we are. The control of budget also faulted the government's move to increase taxes on basic commodities. Looking at the prices of uh, kerosene, the price of maca, the, you know, the price of f cooking fuel generally is a really sore area because no one can do without it. The third thing I would be looking at is VAT on food. Now, when we introduce VAT on unga, eh, a staple food, uh, then you know the very lowly are, are going to suffer. We thought it would only be fair. The co-chairs of the dialogue committee in their response differed on the role of parliament in addressing the high cost of living. Kimani is parliament and Wandai is parliament. He's, he's under capture, state capture. So you shouldn't expect much from them. And this is why we have to really go deep into these things. We have been bold enough to deal with some of these issues touching on the economy. And I, I believe uh, history will judge the 13th assembly uh, different from other assemblies of all the units that they so built. On the housing fund levy, which has now contributed to the shrinking employees' payslip, the control of budget called on the government to ensure its success, appearing to call out the president over unfulfilled promises. Now, what happens if every time you speak to someone, they do not keep their word? I think you will not be in a position to to trust them the next time they speak. Why I'm saying this is that I keep my ears open a lot of times when people are arguing, my friends on the golf course and all that, and I hear them say, who tells you we'll get these houses? Submissions over the implementation of the affordable housing program will be tabled on Wednesday. Sydney Chazima, NTV.